Hi, so this week's column is about spring perfumes. I mean, <clears throat> it's a bit of a red herring really calling it spring perfumes because what's a spring perfume? Perfume is perfume. If you love the smell, you love the smell. However, um, there does come a point when the sun comes out and it, things are a bit warmer generally, where you might just feel a bit bogged down by the perfume you've been wearing all winter. Suddenly it might seem a bit too heavy, a bit sticky, a bit cloying when things are warming up and you want something lighter and fresher. Fortunately, this spring, loads and loads of the perfume houses have brought out these kind of lighter, fresher versions of their classic scents. So what they've done is they've taken, um, you know, a real iconic, big selling fragrance, in this case like Miss Dior, and they've made an Eau Fresh, which is um, a fresher, greener, lighter sort of version of Miss Dior. So if you love Miss Dior, you'll still love it, but it's, it, it's just a lower key sort of fragrance, I suppose you could say. So that's one of the big trends that has come through. Marc Jacobs has done it too with Daisy where he's done Oh So Fresh. Chanel Chance have done um, a version. I think I've got some here somewhere. Um, Chanel Chance have done a version. Um, and Chloe, this is one of my favourites actually, Chloe have done an Eau de Chloe which is um, a, a spring version of their scent and it just smells more kind of green, a bit more fruity. It's got a sort of scent of pears in it. It's less... Um, Sort of deep and mysterious kind of musky sort of fragrance. It's really really pretty, I've been wearing it a lot. Um, the other types of perfumes that are coming through which I'm also really interested in are single note perfumes. Now when we talk about single notes it's when um, a perfume smells overwhelmingly of one thing. So it's not this sort of exotic complex blend, it's just taking a pure smell and making a whole perfume about that smell. So for example, um, this one by Laura Mercier is Fresh Fig. If you like the smell of figs, you're gonna like the smell of this perfume. It's not attempting to do anything else except emulate that smell. Um, fortunately, I love the smell of fresh figs. And then Gucci have done a lovely range called Flora, um, where they've isolated one flower. So for example, here um, you have Gardenia, it's called Gorgeous Gardenia, and it's just the smell of gardenias, which is beautiful. I mean, there, there are lots of other ingredients involved, but the idea is to capture the smell of that one ingredient really prominently. So if you love white flowers, it'll smell of white flowers and so on. And um, this is tuberose, which is a very sexy, um, sort of carnal kind of a scent. And that is just sort of a pure tuberose smell. And then they've done one of magnolia. And, you know, they're so beautiful. I think they're really pretty um, presents. Jo Malone has also, I mean, Jo Malone, of course, famous for making single note scents um, or, or du duo noted scents, um, have a great number coming through. So they have um, an Iris and Lady Moore, which is beautiful, which is in the column. Very, very, very simple scents. And don't be put off by them when, um, it's a really common thing when I ask people what sort of perfume they like. And very, very often nowadays, women will say, nothing floral, I don't like florals. All perfumes are florals, pretty much. At least 95% of perfumes are florals. The variable is how they're blended and whether they contain spices, whether they contain essences of other things like leather or tobacco, or whatever they're blended with. Um, pretty much everything is floral based and what's lovelier than the smell of flowers? Quite often when people say they don't like a floral perfume they mean they don't like a very sweet, heady floral perfume which is just one category within um, the floral family and even the other fragrance families tend to be based in flowers because they're the most naturally beautiful scents that we have. Um, so look out for, for single note, even if they're floral, try and come out of your comfort zone and give them a try because they really can be the most delicious fragrances. And because they're single note or um, double noted fragrances, they just tend to be very, very, very simple and clean. You hear people talking about that a lot these days. Oh, I want a clean fragrance. I want a fresh fragrance. And I mean, of course, clean doesn't even have a smell, but I know what people mean. They want that very sort of freshly laundered sheets, sort of fresh spring morning sort of a smell. And actually, single note florals can be perfect for this um, instead of that horrible synthetic smell, of, which is a bit reminiscent of toilet cleaner that lots of fresh perfumes smell of to me. Um, single note can be the way of getting that simple effect that you want um, without going down the sort of nasty um, synthetic route. 
Um, as ever, I've said it a million times before in other perfume videos, so I won't bang on too much. But if you can afford to get an eau de parfum, do rather than an eau de toilette. Eau de toilettes tend to be spikier um, smelling and then they don't hang around. So you get this massive hit of alcohol, then they disappear. Whereas an eau de parfum, or even better, a parfum will be softer, more powdery, richer, and hang around all day and develop more nicely on the skin. Um, I really recommend you pay the extra tenner and get the eau de parfum. It, you'll get a much, for my money, nicer um, smell. And again, more than ever when the sun comes out, don't rub, don't rub perfume against perfume on your skin because all you're doing is heating it up and affecting the smell. Just on your neck, on your clavicles, along your arms, in your hair, on your clothes, anywhere, but just avoid that friction. Just let it settle on you and it will dry down nicely. And as ever, go to a reputable um, perfumer. Unless you know exactly what you want, if you'd like some guidance, go somewhere like Liberties or an independent perfumer. These people really, really know what they're doing. They'll have proper testing slips and they'll be able to, um, strips and they'll be able to guide you through the process. Anyway, um, this year I'm doing summer fragrances, which I don't, spring and summer fragrances, which I don't always do. I'm wearing the Chloe and I'm wearing the um, Jo Malone Iris and Lady Moore a lot. And I'm wearing my usual Diptyque Philosophers because that's nice and summery too. And I do just feel the whole thing has given me a kind of lightness of touch. Um, and I'm introducing more colour into my makeup and it just all feels very complimentary to me. So it might be time for you to scale down your perfume for the summer months. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comments section or on my Facebook group, Sally Hughes, get the look. Thanks very much, bye.